Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about writing some basic code in Java. So we're just going to write a few lines of code. I'm going to talk to you guys about how that code basically gets executed. We're going to look at the order that things get executed in, and we're actually going to draw out a little shape onto the console. So it's going to be kind of cool. And the first thing I want to do is just talk to you guys about the order that Java code gets executed in. So when we have our Java code, basically what happens is Java goes through and it executes each individual line of code that we write. So imagine that you were writing like a recipe for someone, right? And you had a bunch of instructions listed out on the recipe. When that person goes to follow the recipe, they start with step one. And then when they're finished with step one, they move on to step two, step three, step four, etc. So they follow the steps. In other words, they execute the steps in the recipe in order. And that's exactly the same thing with computer programming and Java. So when we write out Java code, we're writing out sets of instructions. And Java is just going to follow those instructions in the order that we write them. So I want to show you guys how we can draw out a little shape onto the console over here. And it'll kind of give you a sense of the order that this Java code gets written in and sort of like the flow that our programs are going to follow. So I'm over here in this public static void main method. And remember, this is the method that is going to get executed by Java. So any code that we write in here, when we click this run button up here, it's going to get executed. So let's go ahead and start writing some code. I'm going to basically write some code to draw out a triangle onto the screen. So we're actually going to be drawing a little shape here. And the way that we can draw something out onto the screen, and when I say screen, I'm just referring to this console window over here. We can use a special Java command called system.out.println. So what this is going to do is it's going to print out a line of text onto that console over there. And inside of these parentheses, we can just put some quotation marks. And now whatever we put inside of these quotation marks is going to show up on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy a few of these. So we're going to make four of these and we're going to be able to draw out a pretty cool triangle shape onto the screen. So let's go ahead and start drawing our triangle. I'm actually just going to start by drawing some forward slashes. So at the bottom one, we'll put a forward slash there and this one will put a forward slash there. Here we'll put a forward slash there and here we'll put a forward slash there. So I'm kind of drawing this like diagonal shape here. And now I'm just going to draw vertical lines all the way down. And actually in here, why don't we put some underscores? So now we have this basic triangle. And what's going to happen is when I run this program, Java's going to go, it's going to see, okay, here's the first instruction that I'm given. It's telling me to print something out onto the screen and it wants to print this right here. So this is like the top, the point of our triangle. So Java's going to draw this out and then it's going to go on to the next line of code. So it's going to say, okay, what do we need to do next? All right, we need to print out another line and we're going to be printing out the text that's in here. It's going to keep doing that until it goes through all of these instructions. And once it gets to the end and there's no more instructions, then our program is going to be done running. So let's go and we'll run the code. So I'm going to click this run button over here. I'll click this and I'll just click. Okay. And now you can see over here on the screen, we have this little triangle. So it's a pretty good looking triangle, right? It looks exactly like we had it over there on the screen. But the point is, is that Java drew out all of these individual lines in the order that we specified them. So it didn't draw this line first. It drew this line first, then this one, then this one. So I could actually modify this triangle. Imagine I took the base of the triangle and put it up here. Now this is going to get drawn first and these are going to get drawn after it. So we'll have a different looking triangle. And you can see now we have this kind of like funky looking shape over here. So that's kind of the basics of one drawing stuff out onto the screen. And you can see we can use this print line function right here. And that's basically just going to draw out whatever we put inside of these parentheses onto the screen, and then it'll make a new line. And we also learned about executing code in order. So the order that we put the code in here is the order that Java is going to look through it and the order that it's going to execute it. So that's like the bare bones basics of writing a program in Java. And as we learn more about Java, you're going to figure out awesome ways that you can make something like this even more powerful. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. 
Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.